Johan, and I'm here to teach you math. Math again. Math again. Math again. Math na sa da. Importante magit si math. Mas importante pa siya sa imo. Mas na pa siya i-importante siya. So karun guys, ang atong topic kay ang number theory. Ang number theory, daghan kay na siya topics. Daghan kay na siya subtopics. Pero dili na nato na siya ton ang tanan. Mag-focus lang ta sa isa. Which is... Finding the integer solutions of the given equations. So, muna siya guys. Muna siya to ang stabihan ka ron. O, tuluan ta mo. Gamit lang, tulu ka steps. Oh my God! Wow! Before introducing the steps, this will be the problem set that we'll be using and be basing our explanation. Find the integer solution of the linear Diophantine equation, 3x minus 4y equals 5. So, first step. Determining the GCD of A and B using the Euclidean algorithm. Huh? On sa man ang Euclidean algorithm? Aw, maulagi, dili magud hinumdumon. Limtan magud. Abi manggug wala importansya, limtan da tanan. Euclidean algorithm goes by the form b is equal to a q plus r, where q is the quotient and r is the remainder. In getting the greatest common divisor of a and b, we have to first identify our a and our b. Kailangan yun na to sila ila ilahon para makabaluta nga sakto yun ang atong gabuhaton. Para nilita mamali, para walay mahay sa ulahi. <laughs> In this given linear Diophantine equation, 3x minus 4y equals 5, our a will be 3, which is at the x, and negative 4 is our b, which is in the y. So to get the GCD, we will now be using the Euclidean algorithm in the form b equals aq plus r. So substituting it, negative 4, which is our b, is equal to 3, which is our a, times negative 2, which is the quotient, plus 2, which is the remainder. We will just have to repeat this step again by copying a and putting it to the left hand side. So we put here 3 equals copying the remainder which is 2 times the quotient 1 plus 1. So it will be equal in both sides. Repeating again the steps, putting a at the left hand side which is 2 equals the remainder 1 times the quotient 2 plus 0 because 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. Since our remainder is now 0, we will now have to stop solving. And as you can see that the upper remainder is 1 and that will be now our GCD or our greatest common divisor. Second step. Using the Euclidean algorithm in reverse, we will find and solve the right hand side of the equation. From the solution we have in the previous step, we can now do the Euclidean algorithm in reverse. Starting off with the GCD1 equals our B, which is 3, multiplying to 1, just to remain the 3 in the main equation, minus 2 times 1. Next is starting from the remainder 2, equals negative 4, which is the B times 1 again to remain the negative 4 in the main equation, minus 3 times negative 2. This is now the reverse of the Euclidean algorithm. To continue solving, 
since we can see that in the first equation we have 2 and we have the value of 2 which is equal to negative 4 times 1 minus 3 times negative 2. We can then substitute it in the first equation. Since we can see that there are like terms like 3 times 1 and 3 times negative 2, we can then combine them together and we can obtain 1 equals 3 times negative 1 plus negative 4 times negative 1. And we can see that in our main equation, 3x minus 4y is equal to 5 and the right hand side is not equal to 1, then we have to multiply both sides into 5. So we will have 5 equals 3 times negative 5 plus negative 4 times negative 5. As you can see, we have maintained the position of the equation in the main equation. So now we have our x naught and our y naught, which is negative 5. Third step. Write the equations in general form of solutions. But what is the general form of solution? It goes by this. x is equal to x naught plus bn and y is equal to y naught minus a n where n is any integer now that we have the value of our x naught and our y naught we can now have the general form of solutions of the linear diophantine equation so we have x is equal to negative 5 which is our x naught plus negative 4 which is our b times an integer n or we can simply write it as x equals negative 5 minus 4 n we also have our y is equal to negative 5 which is our y naught minus 3 which is our a times an integer n where n is any integer this is the general form of solutions for the linear diophantine equation 3x minus 4y equals 5. In this linear Diophantine equation, x plus y equals 2, we will start with step 1, which is finding the GCD of a and b. So in this equation, our GCD of a which is 1 and y is 1 which is the b therefore using the euclidean algorithm in the form b equals a q plus r we'll find the gcd substituting everything b is 1 equals a is 1 times 1, which is the quotient, 1 divided by 1, which is 1, plus the remainder, 0, since 1 times 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. So since our remainder is already 0, we should now stop here. Since our remainder is already 0, we will not have to solve for the right-hand side. So we just have to copy the last equation which is 1 equals 1 times 1 plus 0 since the right hand side of our equation the main equation x plus y is equal to 2 we will have to multiply all the equation to 2 equating it to 2 and we'll have 2 equals 1 times 2 plus 1 times 0 since 2 times 0 is always equal to 0 so we now have our x naught and our y naught you might be wondering why our x naught is here and our y naught is here it is because we did not use a euclidean algorithm in reverse we just ha copied it from the step one derived from the euclidean algorithm Proceeding to step 3, we will now write the general form of solutions <coughs> where our x is equal to our x naught which is 2 plus 
our b which is 1 times an integer number which we can put as n and our y is equal to 0 which is our y naught minus a which is 1 and put an integer n where n is any integer so this is our general form of solution for the linear Diophantine equation x plus y equals 2 moving on to the second equation so in the second linear Diophantine equation we have 15x plus 16y equals 17 so starting again with step 1 we'll find the GCD of a and b so GCD our a here is 15 and our b is 16 so using again the Euclidean algorithm in the form b equals a q plus r we will find the GCD substituting it 16 as b and 15 as a times 1 plus 1 copying it 15 is equal to 1 times 15 plus 0 since our remainder is 0 we can now stop here moving on to the second step we can now solve for the right hand side since we have found our remainder one which is the GCD so putting the GCD first copying 16 let's put it 1 so it will be the same as the other side minus 15 times 1 so we just to remain the equation in the main equation so we got already this so we will have to multiply it to 17 since the right hand side of our equation is 17 so multiplying each sides into 17 we have 17 equals 16 times 17 minus 15 times 17 where this will be now our y naught and this will be now our x naught since we use the Euclidean algorithm in reverse. Moving on to the last step which is writing the general form of solutions. We have x equals x naught which is negative 17 plus our b which is 16 and times an integer n y which is our y naught 17 minus our a which is 15 times an integer n where n is any integer so this is the general form of solutions for our linear Diophantine equation 15x plus 16y equals 17 to sum up everything, these are the three steps to remember in finding the integer solutions. Step 1. Determine the GCD of A and B or the greatest common divisor using the Euclidean algorithm. Step 2. Using the Euclidean algorithm in reverse, solve for the right-hand side. Step 3. Write the equations in general form of solutions. I hope you guys have learned something in this video and I hope you have understand the simple steps I made just for you guys to understand this topic. This is me, it's me, it's me, Johan. And this is the end of our video. Peace out.